I think a mama uh, from uh, Tatiana Prokshel, I think she worked in the same department like Zdenka Ausitz. I think that she had something to do, that she was a translator or something like that. Languages, something like this. In the area where Zdenka Ausitz was, in the Kirka Pharmaceutical Company. I first time met Tatiana Prokshul when Tatiana Prokshul was literally a baby. As she was growing up, Tatiana Prokshul looked like this, more or less. Maybe this character, it's it's uh, Resident Evil is the name here, was actually even based on her, I don't know, because I never watched Resident Evil. But as a girl, she looked like this, just as you see here. And I was trying to find, so we are still talking about the psychiatrist procedure here. I was trying to find... Uh, I, a little earlier, I, I, uh, I was trying to find, it's called Pirates, Young Boy, I remember some movie about the child, Child wild. I don't see almost anything as wild as she was. Oh boy, she was as fucking wild as anything ever was wild in this world. I've not seen anything as wild. And I would even say shockingly violent as a child. As a girl. This was a girl that was uh, like, I don't see anything, I don't see anything, okay? But it would be my father who would take me to this location here. It's called Plava Laguna here in the city of the Novo Mesto. like this this is all Plava Laguna all this these are apartment buildings in the city of the Novo Mesto Plava Laguna and what they would do is police would have me <laughs> inside of this apartment units which were used as a torture cells. Uh, what they would do inside is death threaten, abuse, terrorize. Uh, this was yet another Serbian, how can I say, a Serbian uh, All this, all these apartment buildings, Serbian nest, I would say. Here is where you had again officers, uh, all kinds of uh, stuff based inside. Mostly officers, mostly military it was Serbs. Serbs mostly did the military. They had a comfort of the military. And it would go from apartment unit to apartment unit. And I will never forget whenever I was brought to to her, to her apartment, to her parents. Okay. 
never gonna forget this because it's it's actually it's unforgettable this police would deliver me there this was uh, apartment of a total chaos total lunacy which was ran by the father father I think was an officer Serb whose job was uh, he took the job of uh, causing me trauma more seriously than anybody else did maybe in the city of the Novome so this is one of the most violent people in the city of the Novo Mesto, her father. She, as a child, as she was, she would go to the kindergarten, was giving me an impression of somebody who thought is totally invincible and to whom other children have to literally get down on knees in front of. She had an attitude of queen or something like that with what was a Serbian family, this apartment was packed with the Serbs. This was probably family who knows from where, either from Serbia or from Bosnia, who lived inside of this apartment building. Violent boy is anything can be violent. You 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 would not come across lightly anything like this. It was more than just her brother. Her brother learned from his cousins that were also inside. For one, it's even, it was suggested it was an older brother or whatever it was. No, it was not. It was the cousins. It was cousins from Bosnia, I think, or from Serbia, wherever it was. They had a jam-packed apartment with other people who lived there until Tatiana already was like age probably about 10. That's supposed to be a secret and nobody's supposed to know about this. Uh, she was she was as wild, wild. Uh, and even violent is a child possibly can be wild and, and violent. I mean, for the girls, this is just really, really unusual. This is a very, very, very unusual woman who would continue to give impression about very, very, very funny, funny, funny stuff. I mean, this this was just, we're just giving the impressions of... Uh, All kinds of feelings, emotions of which I'm sure that you understand when you grow up, nothing is stronger than the feelings I have spoken about in part number one. So all this stuff, like I said, this is an excellent liar. This is a liar that is that was groomed to be a liar, professional liar, since she was a baby. Her father groomed her into it. Her father was her teacher about the violence. Nobody was as violent in the city of the novel mass as her father was. If this became a psychiatrist, eventually Tatiana Prokshir. So don't say the fact that we don't know each other, that we don't we didn't met before and that the whole thing is a coincidence or something that you know, because it's not. Divlyakusha. Divlyakusha means uh, in a Serbian language that means like a wild girl, divlyakusha. Uh, total, total, total divlyakusha. Totally wild. Tatiana Prokshir. Uh, how did she become so disciplined and normal? Well, uh, her father moved the fuck out. I think. The family, that family, that circus they had inside of the apartment was gone. That was number one thing. Father still stayed there uh, for some time. But uh, I don't know about her grades when she was a child, how good these grades were. I don't know. I, I think she got even into all kinds of fights and all kinds of stuff. It's impossible that she wouldn't a child like this. Which is a normal thing, you know. 
uh, children do, you know, whatever children. She did have uh, her character and, and uh, you know, personality. Uh, and uh, this was just... Uh, Loisa Petrlen knows her very good. Loisa Petrlen knew her since she was a child. This is also another thing. This is another interesting fact about this stuff is that Loisa Petrlen knew her. And Loisa Petrlen had a very good opinion about her. How the fuck do you explain this stuff? That this Chetnik stuff that went on inside of those apartments and all this stuff. How did he, how the Loisa Petrlen, um, how did he approve all this stuff so much? I mean, these people know each other. They know each other. I mean, Loisa Petrle for Slovenia. Yeah, what kind of Slovenia is this? What kind of Slovenia is this? What kind of Slovenia? What? Failure. That much about Tatiana Prokšer. Since she was a baby. Since she was a baby, I was delivered over there for trauma. Since she was a baby, she was a child, I remember her. Since she was a child. This uh, Divlyakusha, literally this girl with, uh, this wild girl with this black hair, long hair, she had a black long hair. Um, Longer, 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 longer than this, longer than this, longer than this. Um, like this girl here, this resident of evil, something like this. When she was really s smaller, she was like this. Okay, then I don't know uh, how much... They started to play with the hair and this and that, but she had a long hair when she was a child. Um, about up to something like this. Uh, let me... So her hair would extend to about something like this, up to like something like that, okay? Something like this. This was Tatiana Prokshir. Up to here. And she had not like this hair, yeah, like this, but back, you know? Mostly was back. Um, she was, uh, she was not uh, like wild and giving you impression that it's like totally wild. Yeah, but she was wild in a sense of personality. Uh, otherwise, she was very well, uh, well, you know, like girls, like little girls, like little girls, trimmed and so on. So, this, this is it, this, Res Resident Evil. This is Tatiana Prokshir, this is she. Here, this, this is a, this is a psychiatrist, Tatiana Prokshir, right there. Now, what's the stuff here about duševnimi motnjami? Okay, okay, if you say so. If you say so. She was skinny, very skinny, always, very, very skinny girl. Skinny, I mean very skinny, I mean skinny girl. She was like, let me see this, res Resident Evil here, right? Let's see this. Let me see if this was skinnier. Well, you know, about exactly something like this. I would say maybe even a little bit skinnier. Okay, we're talking about, I'm talking about like something like this, 
Okay, this is like perfect. Okay, this is a Tatiana Pro actually. Eh? You see that? That's it. I don't have anything else to say. Um, no, father still stayed when this family left, but he 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 kind of calmed down. He was more. He was more calm. You know, he stayed for some time. I remember. He calmed down a lot. Um, Once, uh, you know, that, that, uh, those cousins from Bosnia likely left, that was like, they had like probably three boys with them, something like this, you know, and uh, these boys were as fucking violent that you possibly cannot imagine. Um, I think this is when she started to score like a top grades, you know, in the school. This is when I think that she went like... For the top grades for everything top this is this is a real account about tatiana approach yeah and let this be number uh, part number two about who is what is yeah. if i know tatiana approach huh? if i know tatiana approach yeah i do i do know tatiana approach since so she was a child. She was uh, involved in this case consciously that she knew about it. Yeah, I, I remember more than what she could possibly even give me credit for. Very, very, very intelligent child. This, is, this was extremely intelligent child. She was about, let me tell you, probably age six. She already understood everything what MK Ultra is. That means that this apartment was a terrorist cell. Their apartment was a terrorist cell, which through which they would pass on through also other ki other children, other kids. There was a lot of children I I anticipate like myself that they would go through these torture cells, these private apartments, zoos, literally zoo. I would call this literally a zoo, from one zoo to another zoo. And they were breaking down children, destroying them, brain killing them, traumatizing them, and finally killing them through, for the system, through the system. And I, you know, uh, I rejected her already when she was, uh, I raised her as, I, 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 she, she was not really happy, I think, probably, with what went on inside of me, with me, inside of this apartment, with this violence. She didn't object to it. Uh, but she, she really attacked me when I was, <clears throat> when she was probably six years old, first time. Because I wouldn't want to have nothing to do with her also. And to her, not wanting to do with her, this was like the worst thing. Yeah. I don't know. And this, this is this is the fucking part of this is this is what is fucked up. So that you're gonna understand how how intelligent this. She said already when I was age, and she was like age six, seven. She said to me. And you're not supposed to reject me. She gi she was giving me a lessons when I when she was like six seven years old. And you're not supposed to reject me. Not you, she said to me. And <laughs> yeah, these are those moments with the Tatiana Proctor. Uh, uh, and I, of course I was like, uh, 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 uh what, why? Oh, why, why would I not reject you? I mean, I rejected all others. Why the fuck would I not reject you? Uh, because of that thing, she said. Because of that thing. So it was, it's just, it's just, ah, uh, a top of the, ah. Uh. That's how trained psychiatrically powerful background she already had as a child manipulation manipulator manipulator wise money had ability to manipulate 
imagine a child like this tells you stuff like this six seven years old child you see the girl obviously that she was girl i realized that because this is small i mean i think she never was small really um this i would hope she was six seven years old that's how back in time is this when she stated to me they did bad stuff again and then i got the lesson from her and you're not supposed to not you she said something about some other guy that is okay that doesn't matter but she said this is such a trained liar this is this is the worst case i think that was involved in mk ultra totally totally Yeah, it makes me wonder uh, about this family. Um, the father later on presented himself as an extremely nice person. Am I maybe so much dumb that I did not understand something or something? Uh, that I was missing on something? No, not really. Her nightmare came through. Even uh, when she sent me to psychiatric hospital in 2014, at the end of the 2014, right in front of the mother, even the mother claimed that nothing is wrong with me, that I'm fine and everything. Uh, ambulance vehicle. She definitely got her, uh, you know, it, it just takes a little bit extra, you know, and that's what she was hanging herself on. She hung herself on the thread with just a little bit extra she hopes she's gonna get to push me over the edge. This is not an honest person. This is not a good person. This is not a person that was during MKUltra interacting here with the people and present herself as a, you know, something that British royals even uh, saluted, you know, knowing that what's happening, knowing very good what's happening, interacting with the Serbs and with the Russians, Romanovs from London knew exactly about what went on and were determined through the circumstances, through the people they met around me to literally kill me, literally get rid of me. Such was also the case with Tatiana Prochur for whom it was like girl for who, who you blew the chances and turned against and turned chances against yourself. That kind of stuff. Uh, it's a bullshit. It's important to know that when it comes to elites and stuff like this, when stuff like this is happening, all they're out there is basically to get you killed. So if you ever find yourself, God forbid, in my situation, protect yourself from the scum. That's how it works. That's how they do it. A little bit here, a little bit there, and then the next thing is a graveyard. That's how it works.